James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 2nd, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a strong 6.9 magnitude earthquake near Tonga at 225 kilometers of depth. All my subscribers and viewers know that this is associated with Zealandia, the new continent here that I'm outlining currently that's rising. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yes, this continent has already been named and it is coming up from the sea with the help of volcanic activity. What do we see here? Well, we see that it only registered a four on the DYF. I, a 4 on the shake map, and the pager didn't register at all. There was a tsunami warning with this. Now, I don't believe there's any buoys in event mode, but we will check. Again, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake hits Tonga, where there is active volcanic activity currently. This is just the beginning of several months of earthquake activity that I predicted based on planetary alignments and Earth's position in our solar system. This has happened just under or around Tofu Volcano in Tonga. It's erupted several times. We've had several eruptions between New Zealand and Tonga over the last year. We have two awakening volcanoes, one here White Island, I believe, yes, White Island Volcano, and, of course, Tofu. So, this was a big quake. Let's see what we've got. The French came in at 6.6, .6, so we know it was big. Raspberry Shake, a 6.7. The USGS came in at 6.7, but they've actually upgraded the quake. Upgraded the quake to a 6.9 in real time. That is a fact. A 6.9 upgrade. That's something you won't hear about often. Now, I have predicted that these earthquakes would start again and get much worse as our geomagnetic connections to Saturn and the big gas giants occur. And as we move in between the Sun and those planets, and Venus is also in play there. So we have a strong 6.9 earthquake, Tonga, July 2nd. Getting some detailed information, we see that on Volcano Discovery, the USGS is actually upgraded as well. Not on Volcano Discovery quite yet, but this is a 6.9 main source USGS. The main thing to look at here is on the bottom line, 21.1 .1 atomic bombs worth of energy released. A rather big quake, but we're going to have some much larger quakes to come. Looking at the National Data Buoy Center, we see that no buoys are in earthquake mode. So, that's a good thing. I would also like to say we're having some activity over in California that's abnormal currently. That said, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake occurred a few hours ago in Tonga. It did have an associated tsunami warning, which does not show up on our tsunami buoy map. So I think we actually got lucky there. And it was very deep at 225 kilometers. And there's been several aftershocks in the area. A quick close-up shows us that the 6.9 was followed by 4.9. A 5.6, a 5.6, and a 5.0. So a lot of activity there. But again, we know that that's Zealandia rising. And for those of you not familiar with Zealandia, here is an outline, a general outline. There's a lot of different forecasts of the continent rising. God bless all you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.